Hey everybody, welcome to Mushroom and Gardening Experiments. I've been experimenting with gardening for over 25 years and uh, just thought I'd show you. What we have down here is pine straw, is malt. It's used to keep the weeds down and to keep the moisture in so you don't have to spend so much money on uh, water. And we have a mixture of onion, bell pepper, and raspberries over there on the far side. And it loves it. See? Here it is right here. This is from my pine trees. What I just found out is my pine trees are getting eaten by European saw bugs. They got the larvae all over them. Every needle, the whole tree is covered with thousands of them. So they're going to go through a lot of stress this year. Um, well, you can see down there in the middle of the screen, we got a little squash coming up. That's butternut, and it's going to cover this whole pathway. Over here, we have potatoes growing. They're growing in the pine needle. Uh, they call it pine straw, actually. Um, and they love it also. There's a lot of people that will tell you, nothing will grow under pine straw. It's too acidy. Well... Those people don't know what they're talking about. Or maybe they tilled it into their garden or something, but I think they're just going on what everybody else says. So if you get a chance to rake up some pine straw, if you don't have pine trees yourself, you can go around and look and find somebody that has some and say, hey, you mind if I rake up those pine needles? Of course, my trees are lop lolly pines. They got the long needles. If you look at these, um, the short needles, they might not work as good. They might have more acid in them. But these work great. Just thought I'd let you know. Happy gardening.